Hey, and welcome back to Oily Time with Jax. This week, I thought I would go over five oils that you need to know about and have in your house right now. So, before I start though, if you're liking what I'm doing and you're digging the information, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. You don't wanna miss any of these videos that are coming up and I'm gonna keep doing them and posting them every Wednesday. Okay, so I'm gonna start with one of five oils and this will be lavender. Now, I use Young Living's lavender because it's 100% pure therapeutic grade lavender. Your lavender should not smell sweet or sour, right? You should be able to run your hands along the flower of the lavender plant, smell your fingers, and then put a drop of oil on your finger, smell that, they should smell exactly the same. If it doesn't, there's your sign. Did you know that there is more lavender essential oil out there on the market than there is actual lavender plants growing on the planet at any given time? Makes you think, doesn't it? So check your labels. I always tell people and encourage them to do your research, right? You wanna make sure that the bottle of oil you're getting is 100% pure therapeutic grade essential oil, right? Where does it come from? What's in your bottle? Is it watered down with some kind of carrier oil? Or has it had the perfumer's trick done to it where they actually create a synthesized version of it? Right, good to check. Okay, knowing that, let's tell you the fun things you can do with lavender. As we all know, it's really good for calming and peaceful and getting you to sleep at night. You can also make a sheet spray with it. Put like 15 to 20 drops in a two ounce bottle, add water and spray your sheets and pillow with it. Why not? It's fantastic for calming, nice, peaceful, good night's sleep, right? You can also use it for burns on the skin. So as we're going into summer and we're doing campfires and barbecues and you know, all kinds of things that might cause a burn to happen, even sunburn, you can put lavender directly on your skin and it will take away the sting and it will help with that burn and start healing the skin. Pretty cool, huh? Lavender is kind of a well used oil around here, right? Um, I'm also going to put it in a cooling mist spray. I will take that lavender oil and I'll put 10 drops of that, 10 drops of peppermint, and 10 drops of eucalyptus and make a cooling spray. Add water. That's it. And also, Young Living sells a version of the cooling spray. It's fantastic. Uh, really good on those hot, hot days. The lavender, it's a good one to have in your arsenal of oils. All right, moving on. We're gonna go to Diages. Now, since barbecue season is upon us and potluck season, picnics and all that, you might find yourself overindulging in something that you're not used to eating it, but it looked really good and you decided to eat it anyway, right? So stomach upset is what I'm talking about. You may want to rub some of this Diages on your stomach. Just rub it right on your belly, right? And stop the bloat and that uncomfortable pain. It's uh, very, very effective in helping with digestive issues and bloating and you know where I'm going with this. I don't need to go into detail, but rich foods equals uncomfortable stomach, which equals grab yourself some Diges, right? There we go. Main smell in this one you're gonna smell is juniper, and that's extremely effective with digestive issues. All right, moving on. Now we're gonna go into purification. Purification is really good for many things. I actually use it on my wool dryer balls to create that fresh scent that stays on my clothes. I also add about 20 drops of this. You can do 15, I like 20, into a two ounce bottle again. Uh, and fill the rest with water and that's my room spray. I've replaced all the chemical room sprays that I used to use with just this and it lasts a very long time and again you're only using 15 to 20 drops so your bottle's lasting a long time and I spray the room it gets rid of all kinds of stink you know what I'm talking about bathroom stink good to spray in your shoes if you like to go barefoot like I do in the summer, and you get stinky, sweaty feet that stink up your shoes, just spray your shoes with them. Boom, 
end of problem. It's fantastic. Spray my sandals, spray your gym bag, spray whatever stinks, just spray it with this. And you're getting a chemical free, kid safe, pet safe stink removal, right? And that's important. You can spray your couch, you can spray wherever, your favorite pillow, you know, we all lie around on our favorite pillows when you're crashing and just having a gnar watching TV. Yeah, don't use a chemical. Use something that's pure, okay? And this is a blended oil. It has a citrusy smell. Oh, also really good for mosquito bites, bug bites, no sam bites, um, sand, those little sand fly bites, because you'll be at the beach. Um, rub this directly on your skin. If you're gonna put it on kids, make sure to dilute it with something like a coconut oil, right? Little kids, their skin is not as you know, old as adult skin. So we want to make sure we're diluting because it's going to absorb real quick into their little hands and legs and whatnot. So purification on bites. It'll take that itch away and it smells nice. It'll start healing the skin. Also good for athlete's foot. So what a useful oil. I just keep thinking, oh yeah, there's this and that and this and that that we can uh, do with this one oil. There you go. Purification. Something you want to know about. The next two kind of go hand in hand, right? I've talked about RC before. Now we are in allergy season. As everything starts blooming, people's eyes start watering, the nose gets stuffy, and it just feels Ugh. So what can you do about it? Use some RC, right? This stands literally for respiratory congestion. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna put three drops in our palm, rub our palms together, cup over the nose, right breathe in deeply don't do this but like right over like that and breathe in deeply get it into your body now health canada has actually proved this as a natural health care product for allergies cold and flu yay health canada they know a good thing when they see it they've tested it they've approved it yeah it's actually a really really good oil and it has a citrusy eucalyptus smell to it so it's not horrifying to sniff in and it's actually very effective you can also put it on your throat or directly on your chest you can make a rub with some shea butter right you can do it with jojoba oil i put it directly personally on my chest when i get stuffed and it's very effective works very well with thieves oh thieves another versatile extremely useful oil Thieves. Um, this one is good for cold and flu it is a little spicy you're going to notice clove is a dominant smell in this blend right and we're going to do the three drops in our palms we're going to cup over our nose breathe in deeply three times and get the nose unstuffed um, when i'm really stuffed i'll put it a drop on the bridge of my nose for everyone else, I suggest using a coconut oil and have it diluted. You can just take coconut oil, put that on your nose, then the drop of thieves, because it's a little spicy and some people find it extremely warm. For me, it's just a little warm. I'm just used to my oils. So for everyone else, please dilute and try, and you might get to the point where you're just, nah, I can go raw. I'm good, one drop, boom. It opens up the sinuses. It gets you breathing again. You don't feel like garbage <laughs> as long as, you know, you're using the oils, it's it's pretty good. Thieves can also be an incredible cleaner, right? As I've gone over before, there's a ton of Thieves cleaning products, plant-based, of course. Um, this you can actually just put in, again, your two ounce glass bottle, right? Um, I put this with a little bit of orange and I will add water. And I'll make a quick spray so I'm getting stains out. It's actually very effective for that. It's good as a room spray as well if you want that clovey smell in the air. I also make my own hand soap with it. I get some Castile unscented soap, right? You get the bottle of just Castile unscented liquid soap and uh, add 15 to 20 drops of Thieves. I put 10 drops of orange in it Fill the rest with water in a foam pump bottle. Hand soap. Nice, pure hand soap without the chemicals of that product. Thieves is just amazing. So cold and flu, you can also put this on your VitaFlex points on the bottom of your feet. The pad of your big toe is your head. Of course, the just as a bone joins your foot of the big toe, use your neck. 
your archway is your spine. And then if we move over from the big toe towards the little toe on the pad of your foot, top half, you're gonna hit your lungs and all your upper organs, right? Halfway down your foot, we're gonna go into your stomach, colon, intestine. You're following along here how it kind of works. And I'll put oils on the tap half of the bottom of my foot. Yeah, it actually is really effective. So there you go. Okay, so that wraps up the five oils you gotta have in your arsenal. Pretty cool, huh? It's amazing what these oils can do. Now, if you wanna get your own, you can actually go to my website right here and order some, become a member. Just choose Start With Jax, get yourself signed up. It is totally free, no monthly minimum to spend, no sign up fee, none of that jazz. We're, that's not the way we work. We just wanna get oils to you that are pure and work in your home. Switch over slowly to chemical free, yeah? So much better for you. Okay, so if you liked this video, please hit the like button down below. Don't forget to subscribe because you'll want to know about the videos that I do weekly. Hopefully you learned something. Please reach out to me. And until then, stay safe and happy oiling.